about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Got some beans in my mini pan. I've got an omelet rocking, a bacon omelet, just threw a load of cheese over the top. And I'll just uh, flip that over now. There we go. Lovely job, Luke. Get that melt inside. Get the beans on while that's uh, melting around. Snubbling, get them rocking and rolling while those are doing. And get some butter doing. Good morning, morning guys, what a glorious morning, cheers this morning, uh, back at uh, my base camps. Uh oh, sorry, I just wife my... No, it's a bit breezy today, I've got my remote mic, but uh, I woke up this morning, uh, it's nice and sunny, uh, and half six, seven o'clock, and uh, looked out my window, and there were kites all over me. Uh, this is probably one of the best places to see kites. Uh, this lay by camp I'm in, just above New Galloway. Now I've been camped down on the lock uh, quite a few times over the last uh, few months, uh, looking to get some nice shots of the kites. And there's plenty of kites down there. But I must admit, this camp I was here a few months ago. I don't know whether you remember, guys. It's got a little burn down there, a little river. Lovely, just down there, guys. Got a lovely picnic area here where we can picnic. Uh, this little lay by, I'll just show you. Uh, you probably remember this guy, uh, as I've showed you before uh, uh, earlier in the video as well. Just a little lay by. Uh, New Galloway is just down there. And uh, it's a lovely camp, it really is a lovely camp. Got all my signals here. So, a lovely little picnic area to have barbecues and whatever. Uh, no one else can get in here, just me. And it's a lovely camp. Got the river down there. You can have a picnic down there as well by the river. As I say, I woke up this morning, looked out my window, and there was at least eight, nine kites all flying around that were coming really close. I got my SLR camera out the window, taking shots as quick as I could of them. Uh, but they've uh, buggered off now, uh, they'll be back in a bit. It's quite windy today as well, I don't think there'll be about much in the wind, but uh, they seem to love the windy conditions. And uh, all the rooks and crows were chasing them as well, they seem to bother the kites. Well, they don't bother them because the, the kites will bite their heads off, but they just seem to pester them a little bit, the um, crows. Uh, that's probably a territorial thing or something, I don't know. But hopefully I've got some nice images. Uh, I am still can't get the anger there. I can't get real crisp. Oh, car going by. First one for ages. Uh, my mate went by this morning. I think it was about uh, half eight. Bibbed his own. <laughs> I had to pop in for a, a, a tea one day, mate. Uh, I think he lives down there and goes to work up here somewhere. But uh, the kites now are up on the hill, there's about uh, half a dozen of them right on the ridge of the hill, quite a distance away. But they're right, they're right in front of the van this morning. Couldn't believe it, I've never seen so many bloody kites. Uh, but uh, I can't quite get the, you know, a crisp image on the telephoto in flight. You know, I've got all set, I don't know if there's something wrong, but you know, it's a cheap uh, second hand camera that I got to SLR. Uh, it's the part of the, uh, the uh, Sony A series. Just can't get quite crisp images, but um, I'll see what I can do in Photoshop on the works, the uh, photos that I've got. Because I'm gagging to get some lovely photos of these, because I love the, I've fallen in love with the kites, I really have. I have fallen in love with these red kites. They are stunning beasts. Absolutely, especially when you see them close up you know, 15 foot away from me, just twisting and turning in the air and all the acrobatics they do. They are amazing birds. I have really, since I've been in Galloway, I have really fallen in love with these birds. I love them and I've spent so much time trying to get photos of them and so much time searching for the little, 
You know, people say go down to the kite feeding station, but I don't want to do that, guys. I want to catch them in the wild. I may go to the feeding station at one time before I leave Galloway, but uh, I want to catch them in the wild, and I have caught them in the wild, so uh, hopefully I've got some good imaging. But uh, I need to win the bloody lottery or something and get a decent bloody camera and uh, vlogging equipment. I really do to uh, get some nice images for you guys and some nice uh, videos of uh, these kites uh, hopefully they'll come in again i'll try and get them on my cam my uh, iphone this time on video can you know me can you me uh, slr zoom lens going in there i'll try and get them on my video as well when they come close if they come close in again today but uh <laughs> love them absolute beautiful birds red kites guys i'll give you a bit of history of them and a bit of um information about these stunning stunning birds and to think there was once Oh, I think there's one sat in the field over there. I'll try and get my camera on that. Later, guys. Yeah, we might see the amount of hours. I've just sat in my chair there. So I can, uh, uh, waiting for these stunning birds to come close. Uh, I've spent bloody hours, guys. Absolutely hours. Uh, so if I had some decent equipment, we'd have some lovely shots, but uh, I'll put the shots up that I've got. Uh, I'll do a bit of work in Photoshop, try and make it better. But uh, you can hear these, you can hear these kites uh, before you can see them. They've got a beautiful song as well. Absolutely haunting sound the kites have got. not about at the moment uh, since I've come outside the van. Uh, I'm not spooking them because I'm pretty well camouflaged here, they can't see me. But uh, I'd like to get them on, say, on video, which would be absolutely epic. Uh, can I just say congratulations as well to uh, good friends of mine. Uh, <coughs> you all know um, country, uh, <laughs> country, uh, you all know uh, Adventure Van Freddy lovely tony and claire uh, i love those guys to bits uh, we met up a few times and they're really good friends of mine and their dreams have come true i've know they've, i know they've had this dream for years uh, their dreams uh, and their plans have come to fulfillment uh, not in the way they originally planned but near enough uh, going over to uh, adventure fan freddy guys and see what they're up to uh, they've got some awesome news for their new life, their brand new life. God, I'm so chuffed for those guys. I really am, because I know it's a big dream that Claire and Tony had. And uh, to Claire, Tony, I'll be over there, guys. I'll be over there to see you, uh, hopefully, and uh, give you a hand, if I can, in any way. Uh, it's a lovely couple of guys. Adventure Van Freddy, Claire and Tony. Go and check them out. See what they're up to. So congratulations, Tony, bro. Claire, love you to bits. Congratulations, guys. I am really so chuffed for you. All their plans and all their uh, life's work has come to fruition with a, with a life they've dreamt of for a long, long time. Lovely. Right, we'll crack on with the day and see if I can get some video. I want to get some video now on the iPhone of these stunning birds. Actually, the sun's out. It's a wee bit nippy here in the lowlands. Uh, it was uh, a nice sunny weekend, so there's lots of people about. So I've come up here and hiding away in one of my uh, lovely little base camps. And this one, this base camp is one of my favourites. Even though it's just a lay-by, guys, it is. It's got everything. It really has got everything. This camp has been here a few times. There's Christian. It's quite early in the morning beautiful uh, you probably recognize this camp from another video guys from a few months ago <laughs> lovely picnic area there you can have me barbecue me dinner and sit in the sun uh, actually while i was here the weekend i got my first suntan of the year it was bloody boiling hot yesterday was it uh or the day before saturday the weekend it's monday now there's a the little burn down there where i have my wash in the morning or a swim or whatever wash my clothes 
it's a beautiful spot. Uh, I really love it, even though it's a lie by, it's one of my favourite spots in the uh, New Galloway village area by Lock Ken. And I think there's a red kite in that tree down there. Uh, and I'm, and it's, uh, I've just realised it's a fantastic place for kites. Oh, what a lovely camp this is. I do love it. Got a green pasture field here as well. Right outside Christine. Right by the river there behind me. Got all the kites and all the birds and all the sheep as well. I love it. I love this camp. So it's just gone behind the clouds. Put my SLR away. I'm going to try and get some video footage now for this uh, little vlog. My little special on the kites. Ah, oh, it's gimp, but I don't know. See, I've got a wobble on it. What the hell is that? Everything's tight. I don't know why that's wobbling still. Never mind. We do what we can, eh? We do what we can. Come on, kites. Let's get you on video now. If I can get some on video, then I can make a little vlog about me and my love for kites. Guys. It's Christine there. <coughs> Just take you a walk. Uh, we've been down the river before with this little burn. Beautiful little burn. There might be some wee trout in there, I don't know. Get me a little wee brook rod out, the fly rod. Plenty of grows and birds about, uh, but uh, the uh, kites have just, they tend to wander about and come back in stages. But I'm sure there's some dead carrion on the top of this ridge over here, which they're interested in, because that's what they feed on, dead carrion mostly. I'm just going to look at this little wee brook. My own little private bathing area, my own private picnic area. Lots of wildlife about. Love it. Love it. Try and get across this wee burn to the other side. Paddle through the bricks. Now get my feet too wet. Oh. Absolutely stunning. This is where I can have a bath, guys. This is where I bathe most mornings. The wee burn runs up there. Got a lovely rolling Galloway meadows all around. Mate. Look at that. Is that not stunning? And this is where the kites come to play. They're obviously looking for dead carrion or worms or mice. Hopefully, I'll get them on this video. Just spin you around to where Christine is. How beautiful is this, eh? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? The sun's gone. <laughs> It'll come back. It'll come back. Here she comes, here she comes, glowing, the beautiful Scottish blooms. Oh, I've got a kite coming towards me. Come this way, fella. Come this way, fella.
about B. How you doing? Looking for the kites? Yeah, I do. Still a little bit chilly, but I'm going to get my chair out and sit this out again for a few hours. So it's, it's all about patience, it really is getting those shots, guys. It really is about uh, being patient, spending hours sometimes, literally hours. I mean, hours, guys. I spent many hours. I'm trying to get nice shots. Still up there. Oh, I think we'll get just, just too far away. singing the sun needs to come out to uh, show all their lovely colours up one two three four five six there's about ten here at the moment whether they're feeding up at the moment or not so you have to pass up on the platform there beautiful absolutely beautiful Station. It's a bit of a tourist uh, attraction. Tea, coffee, cakes, and a viewing platform. Here you go £7.50 adults under 16 is free. Dog friendly, indoor outdoor seating, toilets, and all sorts of stuff in there, guys. The Ballymac Hill Red Kite Feeding Station. Oriston. Lovely. I'll have a cup of coffee in a minute. 
the sky down there. Here we are inside the Dominic uh, Cold Centre. This guy's Park Sky. It's <laughs> a good shot, guys. Plenty of pictures of kites, all kite related. Some lovely photos up there. Wow, look at that one. Wish I could get a photo like that. Perhaps one day when I get decent equipment. You've got uh, cafe, cakes, homemade cakes. Got the viewing platform up there. Lots of gifts. Get a cafe there, you get your coffee, your cakes. This is the viewing platform out here, guys. Sky, be a good girl. You're barking every minute. This is a feeding platform. This is where they feed the kites. about this one up there got lambs and goats and all sorts out here massive big green platform guys you can hear the beautiful song of the kites oh. <coughs> some little goats up there children's play area kids will love it here lots of animals mug of coffee and the entry fee comes to 10 quid. Lovely. Do you want a bit, Sky? Do you want a bit? Lovely sat here on this viewing platform, watching these glorious, glorious beasts, these beautiful birds. Just a dark silhouette without the sun hitting the side of them or coming from underneath. They're just a dark silhouette. You can't see the true majesty of their livery. Even though they're not feeding, the birds hang out at the station all the time, I presume. A kind of resident to the station. And this cake is bloody lovely, guys. We'll go and be able to get some more decent pictures. I'll make a nice little vlog from this one. Wow. Wow. Oh, we 
Jong Un 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 Guys, that's it uh, for my little kite video. Uh, Ballymac Hill, absolutely lovely. Highly recommend you come here, guys. Nice cake. Can't beat a nice slice of cake, can you? A nice coffee as well. What a lovely day. Swallows all around us, first swallows or something. Beautiful, lovely place, guys. We'll get back to Christine. We need to find a camp for tonight. I think we're over a nice signal. Settle down, settle down for the evening. Right? It's about uh, four or five o'clock now, I think. Beautiful. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Give the video a share as well. Thanks for all the super thanks that's coming through for Sky and me. Lovely guys, all your lovely contributions and thoughts. You really make so, guy. Look all those birds. Until next time, until the next video guys, catch you later. Ta-da from the lovely, the lovely kites. Turn Christine off, give her a rest. Uh, this will do for second choice. Country line, just down. Not far from my original choice. Uh, this will do, guys. Lovely jubbly. At least there's no mud here. Mind you, it's quite dry now. Look at that for a view. A lovely sunset over there as well. That'll do to eat my fish and chips, guys. Lovely. There goes my inverter. <laughs>